There shall be no end You only Jesus Your reign is everlasting To your reign and dominion There shall be no end Lord Jesus Your reign is ever everlasting To your reign
just go ahead and worship him. He's an amazing God. He's a wonderful God. He's a faithful God. He's an awesome God. Just go ahead and worship him. Go ahead and give him glory. Give him honor. Give him praises. Oh, Rakaba Shanta Abasondo. Nikonda Pranda Kaliko Janta. Sasa Zakari Bozonto. Marakaba Soto Koriboja. Marekola Pranda Kaliko Oza. Oh, Rakaba Shoto Robosanda. Nikora Bashakare Bosonto. Laka Zanta Rabashende. Niko Zanda Braba Sonto. Niko Zanda Pranda. La Shakara Basoto. Niko Zakare Boshanda. Oh, Rabba Sakara Bashende. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. You are great, God. You are mighty. Jesus. What a great God you are. What a great God you are. You are holy, so holy. You are holy, so righteous. Righteous, magnificent. name of Jesus our Heavenly Father worship you and we adore you you are a great God you are a wonderful God a magnificent God an awesome God you have been great in our lives in this year of the gathering clouds oh Rabba Shakari Bosotoro thank you for all the blessings all the leadings all the guidance that you have been to us in the mighty name of Jesus even right now thank you for your presence in this place we thank you for your anointing the angels that are in this place oh rakaba sakale our hearts and our minds are open tonight to receive and we receive your word with joy meekness and faith in jesus name amen hallelujah as you take your seats just greet the person next to you welcome them to our wednesday service our midweek service hallelujah are you glad you are here tell your neighbor i'm glad you are here this evening I'm glad you're sitting next to me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's a beautiful evening. And we've been sharing about the healing streams, live healing services, the preparations that we had from the unis. Glory to God. We are so looking forward to the healing streams. Hallelujah. Because we are, know that so many lives are going to be changed. So many lives are going to be impacted. Tell your neighbor your life is going to be impacted this weekend. Your life is going to be changed this weekend. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tell me, I'm, I'm coming back with testimonies. Amen. Glory to God. You saw the testimony that was shared tonight and the testimonies that you are always seeing. Next time is you. Hallelujah. We are coming back with those big testimonies. Testimonies that are going to be heard all around the world. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we are expecting so much to happen in our lives. So much to happen in our centers, in our churches, in our nation. Glory to God. We are expecting so many things to happen. New cells are going to be opened as a result of the centers that we are creating. We are opening new cells in GOS, the new cells in Tlokwein, new cells even in the hospitals, new cells in the prisons, the places where we are taking the healing streams to. We are opening cells, we are opening outreaches, fellowships and churches there. Hallelujah. Because the healing streams is not just about healing. There is so much things that happen when the word of God is being preached. The most important thing is so winning. Glory to God. And 
this is the biggest healing service, biggest healing program that I'm going to be having with a man of God. Hallelujah. So soul winning is very, very important. And this is the core of what we do in ministry. Every program that we do, we make sure that we are winning souls. Hallelujah. So through the healing schools, we are able to reach the seven billion people. The mandate that a man of God is given to us is another opportunity for people to experience God's love through us, through our man of God, and a chance for us to reach so many in the nation, so many in the city. I don't know how many people have really reached so far. So the brethren were here, they were, they were talking about their experiences, what they've done, the preparations that they've made. They've gone to many places. They went to Rail Park, that's Brother Sam from the spring, from the professionals unit, taking as mommy. They went to the station on Sunday. They went, won more than 300 people, the Dynamis unit. Hallelujah. The Springs unit, they went to G West. Glory to God. Is it G West or G West is tomorrow? Hallelujah. Glory to God. So what are you doing concerning the preparations of the healing streams? This is our responsibility. Christianity is a responsibility. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So winning is very, very important. As we invite people to the healing streams, we are also winning those who need to receive Christ. The Bible says that those who win souls are wise. Hallelujah. And those who win souls are also blessed. So winners are blessed. So winners are always privileged. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 16, I'll read from the NIV. It says, watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in them because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. Glory to God. The Bible says that when you are winning souls, when you are preaching the word of God to someone, you are not just saving that person, you are also saving yourself. It says, because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. So when you preach the word of God, you're not just saving the person who is listening, you are also saving yourself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You are saving yourself as you do so. As you save others, you are also saved. Example, there are blessings that you only receive. If you read the, the, the book about a man of God, about soul winning, join this chariot. He talks so much about soul winning, how we do soul winning, and the blessings that comes to you as a result of winning souls. And Pastor said in that book that there are revelations that you never receive until you start winning souls. There are blessings you never see in your life until you start winning souls. There's money that you never touch or handle until you start winning souls. Hallelujah. There are so many blessings that are connected to winning souls. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so winning is God's number one business, is the heartbeat of God. So winning is the heartbeat of God, and people are God's greatest assets. Everyone is valuable to God. And until you start winning souls for Jesus, you are not yet involved in God's number one business. God wants every one of us to be involved in this business. God wants every one of us to reach out to someone, to reach out to people. Glory to God. And like I was saying, Christianity is a life of responsibility. Through the healing streams, life healing services, we have a responsibility. We have things to do. Glory to God. Christianity is a life of privilege and a life of responsibility. There are two things in Christianity. We have privileges in Christianity. Privileges that others who are not Christians cannot enjoy them. They can only be enjoyed by Christians. As much as we have privileges, we also have responsibilities. Glory to God. God has given us so many privilege, privileges. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, you can put the passion translation on the screen. I'm not sure if you have the passion translation. It says, now if anyone is enfolded into Christ, he has become an entirely new person. All that is related to the old order has vanished. Behold, everything is fresh and new. Glory to God. Can you read it in the King James Version? We are familiar with that version. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Can you have it on the screen? We're going to read it together. Can you read it one to go? He is a new creature. All things have gone on. Praise the Lord. Can you have the scripture on the screen, Tinker Crew? Can you read it again? Let's wait for the scripture to come.
Okay, let's just say it again. One to go. Therefore, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have gone up and behold, all things are become new. Glory to God. Everything has become new. The Bible says that all things, old things have passed away. All things have passed away. Old sicknesses have passed away. Old problems have passed away. Old challenges have passed away. Things that you used to have before you became a Christian, those things, the Bible says they have passed away and the Bible says, look, everything has become new. Those are the privileges that we have in Christ. Everything has become new. God has given us eternal life, a life of eternity. God has given us divine health. God has given us so many things and we have so many rights in Christ because as a result of us being Christians, glory to God. Hallelujah. So we have privileges as Christianity. We know that as a Christian, you know that all things are working together for your good. As a Christian, you know that I can do all things through Christ. That gives me strength. There is nothing that you cannot do. You can do all things. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible tells us that we are more than conquerors. He told us that we are overcomers. So many privileges that we have as a result of being Christians. Glory to God. So Christianity is not only about privileges, but it's also about responsibilities and it's about being blessed and about being a blessing. Being a blessing is a responsibility that God requires from you. Glory to God. And you find that many people are interested in the privileges only. I don't know how many of you here are interested in both privileges and responsibilities. If you are doing something for God, you are doing something for Christ, you are being a responsible Christian. If you are praying, you are a praying Christian, you are being a responsible Christian. If you are a soul winner, you are being a responsible Christian. If you are in a server, you are doing all these things for the expansion of God's kingdom. You are being a responsible Christian. And that's what God is requesting, requiring from us. Hallelujah. Can I bring my mic there so that I can hear what you have done personally? Hallelujah. What have you done personally? Did they tell you? I didn't hear. Can, can they tell you again? Ask another one. Let them tell you. What have you been doing? Did you do anything? Did you do something? Oh, you're just looking at the pastor. The pastor will do everything. You're looking at the unit leader. The unit leader, you do everything. We all have responsibilities. We all have the responsibility to do something. Ask your neighbor, have you already set a visual center? Neighbor answer. Tell it's very easy to set a virtual center. When you register, you are going to be given that, they are going to give you the chance to do, to set your virtual center. So with that link that they give to you, you send to everyone, send to everyone, send to your contacts, send to your friends, your family members, to those whom you work with. So those are virtual centers. Everyone can have a virtual center. You don't have to be there. It's a link that you send to someone so that they can also participate on the ongoing healing streams, live healing services. So every member is a virtual center. Tell your neighbor every member is a virtual center. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you can have more than one, you can have 10. If you have 20 friends, you can have 20 virtual centers. So it's something that is that is very easy to do. We always send links to, to others, to our friends. You send a link, say, watch these things, watch this thing. And this link, through this link, we are giving life to so many people. Many lives are going to be impacted. So it is something that you should be proud about. Glory to God. So have that link and send the link to as many people as you can. Glory to God. So 
in church we have to grow, we have to grow spiritually. Like you know that in our houses, children have to grow. They cannot be children forever. They grow and they're given responsibilities. And as a child of God, you need to grow, you need to have responsibilities in the house of God. Glory to God. So this hidden stream is a call for us all to serve every one of us, those who are in the cells, those who are not in the cells, we need to be in cell so that we can all serve. Glory to God. The one who serves, Jesus says, the one who served is the one who is greater, is the one who is blessed. Those who serve are greater than the one who are being, being, being served. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So let us do all these things. Let us register others for the healing streams. Let us invite others. Let us pray for others and personally bring someone to church yourself. Glory to God. On Sunday, I thought I'll see many souls coming. We we're having a cell leaders meeting and we said in every service you should bring a soul. Ask your neighbor, did you come with a soul? Show me your soul. Neighbor, look at them in the eye. Eyeball to eyeball. Ask them, did you bring a soul tonight? Neighbor answer. Neighbor answer. Don't, don't meditate. It's not time to meditate. Answer. Hallelujah. So it's, we have to bring souls. You have to win people all the time. Glory to God. It's our responsibility to bring souls. It's our responsibility to win people to Christ all the time. We're going to be setting up a registration desk there every service. You want to see the souls that you are bringing to church. When you bring your soul, you register them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And make sure that you personally bring someone for the healing streams, live healing services. We are having a center here in church. So make sure that you are coming here with your, with your invitees. You can target yourself. I targeted you. I said at least 20 people. Invite at least 20 people. Because you know that when you invite 20 people, not all of them might come. So you cannot target one person. What if that person does not come? We cannot target three people. What if they don't come? So target yourself as much as you can and make sure that you know the names of the people whom you are inviting, whom you are targeting to come for the healing streams. Hallelujah. So be part of all these preparations that we are doing. Glory to God. And tomorrow, Thursday, we are doing strategic road walks at a unit level. So every unit, I believe you are ready to do your walk, your road walks in a location which you have already communicated with the brethren at the time which you've already communicated. We are still publicizing the program. One Somebody was saying, I think it was Brother Sam Shishala, he said that it's not too late. You can still do something. Glory to God. You can still do something to publicize the program. You can still win someone. You can still do a lot of things. So tomorrow we are doing those road walks. We are publicizing the program and we are expecting to get testimonies from those road walks. Hallelujah. And then Thursday and Friday, we are following up on the guests that we have invited. So when you invite someone, it's important that you follow them up, glory to God, and ensure that they are physically here. And the hidden streams is also a time to receive the word of God. The Bible says in Acts chapter 19 verse 20, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed, glory to God. Paul was saying, this, he said, so much he grew the word of God and prevailed. Paul preached and taught the word of God so much that the entire city had the gospel. The Bible says that he preached the word so much that the gospel, the word of God, it prevailed in that city. The word of God was fashionable in that city. That even those who were practicing witchcraft, they had to go and burn their things because the word of God got into them so much. That's how it's supposed to be in our cities. That's how it's supposed to be. We need to preach this gospel. This gospel needs to be heard. So as we invite people to come for this program, they're going to hear, hear the word of God. They're going to hear things that probably they've never heard before. So it is our responsibility to take care of this city to ensure that the word of God is preached and is prevailing in the cities, in our towns, in our villages. Hallelujah. So we expect all of that to happen even with us. We expect to have testimonies that are going to be 
heard all over the world. You want to see our brethren's testimonies here. You want to see testimonies from Botswana also being heard all over the world. Glory to God. And we can have all those things as we prepare through prayer. Prayer is very, very important. That's why we've been praying. That's why we are still praying. And that's why we are going to be praying even tonight. Glory to God. Prayer is our responsibility. It's the responsibility of a Christian. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, 7, And seek the peace of the city, whether I have caused you to be carried away captives, and pray unto the Lord for it, for in the peace thereof shall you have. Hallelujah. When we pray for our cities, as peace comes into the city, that peace is also going to be a part of us. When we pray, we ensure that there is peace. There is peace in our lives. There is peace in our churches. There is peace in our cities, in our nation. So prayer is very, very important. We have a prayer cloud that we are doing. When we go to the registration of the healing streams, you see all these things. So we have a prayer cloud. We have sent you the link also of how to create uh, a prayer session through the prayer cloud. So as cells, we are praying Wednesdays and Thursdays, today, tomorrow, you are praying as cells. So make sure that you join your cell in prayer. Glory to God. And whatever the unit is doing, make sure that you join what the unit is doing. Hallelujah. So let us all be active. Let us all do what we have to do. Cell leaders, make sure you are active. Members, make sure that you mobilize your members to do all that they have to do. Glory to God. So be part of these prayers that we are doing. And tonight we are going to be praying. Hallelujah. I would like to ask everyone to stand up on their feet as we begin to pray. As you stand up, just speak in tongues for a second or so as we go to our prayer points. Praise the Lord. The first prayer point, I want to be praying for children with diverse sicknesses and diseases. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 41 verse 3, the Passion Translation, when they are sick, God will restore them, lying upon their bed of suffering. He will raise them up again and restore them back to health. So we are going to be praying for children suffering from medically incurable conditions, for healing, restoration, and perfection in Jesus' name. Declare that wholeness will be restored to them as the healing power of God Touches them in a supernatural way during the healing streams, live healing services. Pray also that their parents and guardians, that they are strengthened in faith to take hold of the miracles that loved ones require. Declare that their faith will prevail and they will encounter joy unspeakable as they receive an impartation of the Spirit through the program. Let us pray for the children who are sick all over the world. Those with the incredible diseases. Oh, Rakaba Shaka di Goza Brande Kola Bashanta Lazaka di Gozo do Bronda Masheke de Gozanda Brande Kola Bashanta Zora Branda Kali Kozanda Branda Lo Shaka de Gozanta Li Gozanda Branda Kali Koshanda Zazaka Raba Kali Goza Manta Kali Koda Bazon Tokora Branda Mashaka Li Konda Branda Kali Goza Li Kora Branda Mashaka da Baba Bakali Kozo la raka bakali go zanda branda mashaka le konda brezo kodo boja le go zanda branda mashaka de go zoto le go zanda branda kali go zanda mashaka da bakali go zo le go zanda branda kali go za mashaka da baba baba le go ra bazanda mareko ra branda kali go za mareko ra bashanta zara bakali konda kali go zo mareko ra bazanta branda ora ka Baba Shanta, he goes under Brava Kali Goza, Mashaka da Baba Bakali Gozo, do do do, Maraka Baba, La Raka le Kora Baba, the Kora Bazoto, Kora Bashanda, the Kora Branda Kali Kora Bazonto, he goes under Branda Kali Kora, Masaka le Kora Bazondo, the Kojaka da Bahanda, Masaka da Bashanda, the Kozantaba. We pray for their parents, their guardians in the name of Jesus, they are strengthened in their faith. To receive healing for their children in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rakaba Shantaraba, Niko Zoto Bahakashanda, Mande Koraba Shantaraba, Niko Rabraba Sente, Niko Zanta Branda Kale Kozo, La Shakarebo Zoto Rokola Bashanda. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the children who are suffering from different diseases. They shall receive their healing. Those who are suffering from incurable diseases, they shall receive their healing. Oh, Rabbi Shakarabo, through this program, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for their parents and their guidance. Oh, Rabbi Shakarabo, to have faith for their children. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. You're going to be praying for an overflow of healing testimonies. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I have a testimony. Hallelujah. You're already declaring it that you have it because of your faith. Hallelujah. You're coming back with that testimony. The Bible says in Psalm 126, verse 1, it says, When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. Hallelujah. We are gonna, the Lord is going to do a lot of great things for us, each and every one of us. Hallelujah. As you pray. So we are going to declare that as a result of the efficacy of God's word and the ministration of the Holy Spirit there will be a great harvest of healing testimonies. Hallelujah. During and after the healing streams, live healing services and that the testimonies will inspire the faith of many around the nations of the world. Pray that the Lord will confirm his word with healing, miracles, signs, and wonders as pastor ministers open your mouth and pray. Oh, Rabbi Shaka, Rabbi Santa, Rabbi. Pray for the overflow of healing testimonies. Overflow of healing testimonies. Oh, Rakaba Shaka, the go Zoto. Likonda Branda, Kaliko Santa. Ma Rakaba, Kaliko Zoto, Branda. Ma La Shaka, the go Zoto, Koda Bashanda. Liko Santa, Branda, Kaliko Zoto. Ma Shaka, Rabbi Soto. Likonda Braza, Kade Boshanda. Ma Zada, Kade go Zoto, Doko, the Boja. Likora Branda, Kola Bashanda. Ma Saka, the go Zoto, Branda. Ma Raka. Kaba soto robo shanda, liko zanda braba soko raba, la shaka de goza, ma reko raba shende, liko raba soko raba shanda, no gozo do kora ba shete, ma raka le gozo do kora ba shanda, liko zanda ba kali gozo to bronda, ma sheke de de de, liko raba zanta raba, ma shaka de gozo to, ma raka ba soko raba shanda, oh raka ba sente, in the mighty name of Jesus. Our oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the mighty miracles and the massive testimonies. Oh, Rabbi Shataraba, a great harvest of miracles that are going to be having in our centers in Botswana. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Give a neighbor a high ten. Tell them we are making progress. We are making progress. Hallelujah. We are going to receive massive harvest of testimonies. And the next prayer point, we're going to be praying for this live healing services to the men of God. Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil and for God was with him. So we're going to be praying for this program with the men of God taking place this Friday and Saturday. Declare that as you publicize the program and spread the word, the fame of this program spreads. <coughs> Hallelujah. It spreads like wildfire, reaching billions around the world who will be convinced in their hearts to register and participate in the program to receiving healing, blessings, and impartation of the Spirit. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh raka shaka de bo zoto branda ma shaka de bo soko raba soto li go zanta pray for the publicity of this program as you publicize this program everyone who receives our flyers they are coming everyone who receives our invitations they are coming they shall participate in the name of Jesus Oh raka ba shanta raba li ko na brande ko raba shanda ma saka di go zoto bronda ma shaka de go zoto bo sanda ma shaka de bo zoto bronda ma raka ba haka li go zo ma re ko raba shanda li ko zande pro zaka ba shanda lu raba ka shente li ko zanda braba soko do bo shanda la raka ba soko do bo sha li go zanda braba soko la ba shanda li go zanda brande ko la ba shanda oh raka ba santa li ko zanda the branda ma shaka de go soto in the mighty name of jesus oh hallelujah and finally we're going to pray and thank god for the establishment of new churches churches as a result of this program Acts 1645 and as they went through the cities they delivered them to the decrees 
for to keep that were ordained of apostles and elders which were in Jerusalem and so were the churches established in the faith and increased in number daily hallelujah our churches are going to be increasing our cells are going to be increasing our fellowship glory to God so pray and thank the Lord that is a result of this program more souls will flood into the kingdom of God and a great multitude of them will be retained and established in our churches declare that our churches around the world will experience dynamic growth and supernatural increase resulting in the planting of new churches and an expanded workforce for the kingdom let us pray the next one minute Brende kola bashanta zara kali kola branda liko uzo o raka basanta liko da branda ma shaka de boso toro bosanda. In the mighty name of Jesus, just go ahead and thank the Lord for all answered prayers. Just raise your hands, raise your voice, and thank the Lord for all answered prayers. He's a God who hears us all the time when we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Father, worship you and adore you. We thank you for the blessings upon our lives. We thank you for all answered prayers, for you hear us always when we pray, and you are the God who answers prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Oh, hallelujah. Just give a high five to five people. Tell them congratulations. Hallelujah. We'll continue with the service and I would like to especially appreciate my pastor, Pastor Philip, for the opportunities she always grants me to be facilitating the service. Hallelujah. At this time we're going to honor the Lord with our substances as uh, the love word singers ministers to us.
surely comes to pass We bow before your throne, almighty God Praise the Lord And we kindly raise up to our feet, please Let's all pray and bless the offering Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you tonight, Lord, for these tithes, the offerings, the seeds, the partnership. And Lord, we invoke your power upon them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we declare that tonight because of this giving, I declare prosperity, I declare blessings upon each and everyone who is given tonight in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are blessed in each and everything they do. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We may kindly take our seats. Glory be to God. We are coming to the close of our service and... I would like to pray with those in case you are in our midst. You have not yet given your heart to Christ. Uh, may you kindly indicate by raising your hand so that we may pray with you the prayer of salvation. Anyone who is not born again in the house, may I see your hand. And the same applies to those who are watching us online. You have not yet given your heart to Christ. It's a very simple thing to do. All you need to do is just to pray a prayer of salvation and your life will be transformed. Your life will be changed. Glory be to God. And wherever you are, if you may kindly lift your right hand or rather put your right hand on your chest and lift the other hand as a sign of surrender. And I want you to pray this prayer after me. And I want you to mean it from the depth of your heart. Say, Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. And congratulations, you are now a child of God. And to receive more information, if you look on your screen, you'll find this information for, for you. Uh, there is a book by a man of God now that you are born again. It's a free copy, a gift to you. And in case you don't have access to that, you may as well locate any of our Christ Embassy churches near you and go and claim a hard copy of the book now that you are born again. And also make sure that you see a pastor or one of the leaders and they will direct you in the way to go. Amen. Congratulations. God bless you. Amen. I would also want to acknowledge those who are visiting us for the very first time. It's the first time to fellowship with us here at Christ Embassy. May I kindly see your hands. Hallelujah. I can see that beautiful hand. Thank you. May you take another step, please, if you may kindly take your belongings and come up front. Um, hallelujah. We can do better than that. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, my sister, for gracing our service. We're so honored to have you. Amen. I believe it's not by chance that you just came, but uh, we know that the Lord wanted you to be in this place. 
for a special reason. Amen. And on behalf of our pastor and the Christ Embassy family, we would like to specially welcome you to Christ Embassy, where we give your life a meaning and a purpose for living. And I trust that you enjoy the proceedings of the service. And uh, what do we say to her? We love, we love you so much. And in case you don't have a church that you go to, please, you are most welcome to be part of us. Amen. Uh, there is a brother, a minister behind you. He's going to take you to the back briefly in case maybe you want to know more about us or you came, we have a prayer request, he will attend to you. If you may kindly please take your belongings, then you can. Uh... Thank you so much. God bless you. I'm sure we can do better than that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will quickly go through the announcements. The healing streams, healing services, we are left with only two days. Hallelujah. To the healing streams, live healing services with our dear man of God, Reverend Chris Oyakilome, DSCDD. And it will be holding this Friday the 4th and Saturday the 5th of November. And we'll be meeting here in church to participate. Hallelujah. And prayer uh, regarding the healing streams, life, all cells are to have prayer chains today and tomorrow. And that will be starting off at 9 p.m. to quarter past nine. And you'll be using any of our online platforms, for example, the King's Chat, King's Conference, rather, or Zoom, depending with the arrangements that you have in your, in your cells. And publicity, all units are to plan for, the, for their strategic roadworks tomorrow, time and location to be dis discussed with the cell leaders, and the march is to be done with placards and healing streams, materials, that is the flyers, the magazines, and rap stories. And brethren are to share the healing streams post on their social media and partner as well. And invitations are to be done daily. Then also we have follow-up and sales are to do the follow-up on their invitees that is on Thursday and Friday prior to the event. In healing centers, every member is expected to register a healing center with the zonal link uh, displayed. And in case you want to know more about that, you may as well see your cell leaders or even the, the staff uh, at the help desk. And the Global Communion Service is this coming Sunday and it will be starting at 4 p.m. And we'll be praying and fasting throughout the day as we prepare our spirits for the word of the new month. And also coming this Sunday will be our partnership service. Amen. So we are all urged to prepare uh, our partnership seeds prayerfully. Let's all come ready to celebrate. Amen. And the economic empowerment launch is this coming Saturday at 9 a.m. And this is for empowering those who are certified sowers, the selected partners who receive an who received rather an invitation. And International Pastors and Partners Conference 2022 will be from Monday the 14th to Sunday the 20th of November. And all those traveling and have not yet paid their registration fees are aged to, to do their registration today. And brethren who are not in cells are kindly requested to visit the cell ministry desk at the back to register their names with Sister Pauline after the service. And the regional prayer meeting with Pastor Ose uh, 
every Monday and Friday at 7 p.m. And we are all urged to attend these meetings without fail. And our next meeting is the group morning prayer on Friday at 5 a.m. Hallelujah. And I'm sure the healing streams links have been displayed. Take a crew if you may assist with that as we rise up to our feet. Hallelujah. Those are the links for the registration and virtual centers. Where we join our hands as we share the benediction, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide in us all now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Surely, goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.